Killer Cults by James J. Boyle, A Literary Analysis James J. Boyle's Killer Cults delves into the dark and chilling world of cults that have perpetrated heinous crimes. Through meticulously researched accounts, Boyle sheds light on the motivations, dynamics, and consequences of these cults, ultimately offering readers a thought-provoking exploration of the human capacity for extremism. One of the central themes in Boyle's work is the manipulation of vulnerable individuals by charismatic leaders. He paints a vivid picture of how these leaders use their charm, charisma, and psychological manipulation to gain the unquestioning loyalty of their followers. Boyle illustrates this point by recounting the rise of figures like Charles Manson and Jim Jones, who masterfully exploited the vulnerabilities and insecurities of their followers. These leaders offered a sense of belonging and purpose, which was particularly appealing to those who felt marginalized or lost in society. Boyle also highlights the role of ideology in cult formation and maintenance. He argues that cult leaders often create a unique belief system or twist existing ones to suit their agendas. This ideological manipulation serves as a powerful tool for indoctrination, as followers are gradually persuaded to accept increasingly extreme beliefs and engage in criminal activities. Boyle's analysis effectively illustrates how these ideologies can be used to justify violence and murder, blurring the lines between religious devotion and criminality. Moreover, Killer Cults explores the psychological mechanisms that enable cult members to commit unspeakable acts. Boyle delves into the concept of groupthink, wherein individuals within a cult conform to the group's norms and values, often forsaking their own moral compass. This process of de-individuation can lead seemingly ordinary people to commit horrific acts, as witnessed in cases where cult members have engaged in mass suicides or ritualistic killings. Boyle's analysis underscores the chilling notion that under the right conditions, ordinary individuals can be transformed into ruthless killers. Boyle's narrative is not solely focused on the sensationalism of cult violence, he also delves into the aftermath and the lasting impact on survivors and society. He skillfully captures the trauma experienced by those who manage to escape cults or are rescued from them. These survivors often struggle to reintegrate into mainstream society, haunted by their past actions and the brainwashing they endured. Furthermore, Killer Cults examines the societal responses to cults, highlighting the challenges in preventing and dismantling these dangerous organizations. One of the book's strengths lies in its balanced approach to the subject matter. Boyle refrains from sensationalism and instead offers a sober analysis of the psychological, social, and cultural factors that contribute to the formation and perpetuation of killer cults. He draws upon a wide range of sources, including interviews with survivors, law enforcement officials, and experts in the field, to provide a comprehensive and well-rounded perspective on the subject. In conclusion, James J. Boyle's Killer Cults is a compelling and thought-provoking exploration of a disturbing facet of human behavior. Through meticulous research and a balanced narrative, Boyle illuminates the mechanisms behind the formation of cults and the factors that drive their members to commit acts of violence. The book serves as a cautionary tale, reminding us of the dangers of blind devotion and the vulnerability of individuals to manipulation. Killer Cults is a sobering reminder that the human capacity for extremism knows no bounds and that vigilance and awareness are crucial in safeguarding against the allure of destructive ideologies.